When OpenAI launched Stargate UAE, a hundred billion dollar bet on AI compute in the Middle East, the message was loud and clear. It's that AI isn't just about models anymore. It's about who controls the infrastructure behind it. Now that same Stargate blueprint is headed towards Asia, with India in its sights. But here's the thing: India isn't just another market for OpenAI. It's a nation building its own AI future, and that's where the clash begins. Under the 10,372 crore rupees India AI mission, India is building something unprecedented. 29,000 GPUs are backed by players like Yota, E2E Cloud, Jio, Control S, and NextGen. Public-private partnerships subsidize compute for startups, researchers, and institutions. And while OpenAI is pitching its target model. With U.S. governed infrastructure and proprietary tools, India is going sovereign first. Yota and E2E Cloud are two of India's biggest compute providers, and both have a message for OpenAI: Yes, bring Stargate, but build it on our own terms. According to Yota CEO Sunil Gupta, India is the most cost-effective location globally to build hyperscale AI infrastructure. It costs just five million dollars to build an AI data center in India. In the West, it's over 10 million dollars, and that's not all. Yota has already deployed over 8,000 Nvidia H100s with Blackwell chips on the way. They offer compute at under 100 rupees per hour, all thanks to government subsidies. And their GPU cloud Shakti runs entirely in India with full compliance and low latency. E2E Cloud's Keshav Reddy echoes the same. We're not just hosting models; we're building India's AI backbone. With H100 and H200 clusters at one third the cost of global providers, and OpenAI's global plan is quite clear: own the full AI stack from model to middleware and to metal. But India has a different vision. India AI is not about success; it's about ownership, says Yota. We do not want black box AI governed from abroad, says E2E. And India AI is open weight, publicly funded, locally deployed, aligned with Indian law, languages, and culture. Meanwhile, OpenAI has closed source models, US jurisdiction, and pricing aligned with hyperscaler partnerships. That explains why OpenAI is thinking of releasing open weights of its models. And if anyone can match OpenAI's scale, it's Reliance. The conglomerate is building a 3 gigawatt AI data center in Jamnagar, and talks with OpenAI and Meta are already underway. And the plan is to localize ChatGPT in India, just like it did in the UAE. But here's the risk: once ChatGPT goes live at scale, homegrown models like Servum AI could be sidelined. Already, Servum has faced backlash for building on top of Mistral. And if Indian users get ChatGPT for free, who will choose local? And that's exactly what India wants to avoid. Both Yota and E2E have said that they are open to partnering with OpenAI, but only if Stargate is built within Indian borders, under Indian compliance, and with transparent, equitable terms. We're not against OpenAI. We're against losing control, says E2E Cloud, and we're already working with Nvidia and Microsoft, and we can work with OpenAI too, says Yota. And they're not asking OpenAI to stay out. They're asking OpenAI to build with India, not just in India. But not everyone agrees. NextAI founders and open source evangelists see Stargate as a Trojan horse. Bringing Stargate to India is like handing Silicon Valley the master key to our digital future. Why build sovereignty for a decade just to outsource it in a day? For them, the message is quite clear: India doesn't need another closed box. It needs a thousand open gates, built here, run here, and evolving on our own terms. So, from GPT to Stargate, OpenAI is expanding quite fast. But India has learned a lesson from history: that closed source isn't forever, and AI must be inclusive, transparent, and sovereign. As IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav put it. OpenAI turned closed after GPT-2. Who's to say others won't? And that's why the India AI mission exists. Not just to build models, but to build control, control over data sets, control over infrastructure, and control over India's AI future. So India doesn't need to block Stargate, but it sure as hell won't bow to it either. The message from Yota, E2E, and India AI is loud and clear: is that we are open to the future, but we'll write our own rules. Let us know what you think in the comments below. This is front page by AIM TV. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you're making AI in India, you need to be at Cipher 2025, the country's biggest AI summit and expo.
and this year's theme is Make AI in India. See you all there and always remember to think AI and think AIM.